It's time for another top 10 list. Stick around and check it out. And welcome back to another episode of TED Talk Stamps. I am the host, Ted the Talking Stamp Collector. And today I've got another top 10 list for you. I'll be looking at my top 10 stamps from the U.S. in the first half of the 20th century. But first, as usual, I'll bring you a viewer list. Or in this case, a viewer single. It comes from Lawrence Fisher of the YouTube channel, The Stories Behind the Stamps. Lawrence's favorite stamp comes from this sheet issued by the Yemen Arab Republic in 1970 for the World Cup soccer match held in Mexico. And his favorite stamp is the bottom one, along with the attached non-postal label. On this stamp, all 16 participants in the 1970 World Cup were printed on the stamp, including the first-time participant, Israel. However, the 1967 Arab League summit mandated that there would be no recognition of Israel as a country. Therefore, to fix that problem, Yemen overprinted the sheet with the bar over the name Israel. Problem solved. Thank you, Lawrence, for sharing that bit of philatelic history with us. And for more stories behind the stamps, be sure and visit Lawrence's YouTube channel. I have put the link in the description below. And now, let's take a look at my new top 10 list, which is the top 10, my top 10 anyways, stamps issued by the United States in the first half of the 20th century, that is, between 1901 and 1950. First on the list is Scott number 548, issued in 1920 for the tercentenary of the Pilgrims Landing in America. And who doesn't love a ship at full sail? Next comes the originator of the mystery novel, Edgar Allan Poe. He's been honored on a couple of stamps, and this was his first one from 1949, Scott number 986. Next, from 1923, comes this airmail stamp, Scott number C6. Of course, the first airmail stamps of the U.S. showed the Curtis Wright Jenny, and those are beautiful stamps, but for, for my money, I just like this whole picture with the trees down below just invoking that sense of that period. And then from 1923, the so-called Fourth Bureau Definitive Series. Call that because this was the fourth regular series that was engraved by the Bureau of Engraving and Printing after taking over the stamp producing process from the American Banknote Companies. And this is Scott number 569, showing the American Bison. Also from the 4th Bureau series is this one, Scott number 565, depicting a Native American Indian. Next comes this one from a set issued for the Pan American Exposition, Scott number 295, issued in 1901. And I'm, I'm not a train collector or not even knowledgeable about trains, but I do love me some nice train stamps. Then from 1903, from the second Bureau Definitive Series, is Scott number 300, showing Ben Franklin. And this series is just, the whole series is really nice with a intricate, ornate uh, framing around the vignette, around the central portrait with the two figures on each side. In fact, it was so ornate that the uh, postmaster general at the time thought it was unbecoming of an American stamp and he had the George Washington stamp redesigned. The next two are from the Parcel Post series. First one being this one, the 20 cent stamp, showing a very early biplane carrying the mail. All of the Parcel Post stamps are in this carmine color and they're, they're just striking images. I just love them. Including this next one, the 
five cent mail train issue. As I said, I love the train stamps. And this one is a very dramatic image and a beautiful stamp. And then finally at number one, it couldn't be anything but a Zeppelin stamp for me. And this one, C-13, issued in 1930, is my favorite. It's just a really nice dramatic picture of the Zeppelin over the ocean. So there you have it, my top 10 list of my favorite stamps by the U.S. in the first half of the 20th century. And again, let me remind you, if you have a list of your own that you would like to share in a future episode, email me at tedtalkstamps at gmail.com. And you don't even have to bother with the images, I'll find them for you. My next top 10 list will feature my favorite worldwide stamps from the first half of the 20th century. Until then, this is Ted the Talking Stamp Collector wishing you all happy stamping. <laughs>